It's Mike Bangs, Touring Manager for Alan Heath in the USA. We're here outside of Los Angeles today at Harmony Sounds to begin our series of short and to-the-point instructional videos on DLive. Thanks for joining us. So when you're going to use a DLive system for the first time, it's actually very simple. Uh, it comes out of the box ready to mix, but you may not want to assume that the last person that had it before you left it in a perfect state for you. So there are two parts to a DLive system, the mix rack, which is the actual mixing console, and then the control surface. There are many ways to control a system without a control surface and by using the mix rack. But we'll cover those in a later video. For this system, we're going to have a mix rack and a mixing surface. The main thing that you need to do to get started is to make the one connection between the surface and the rack. We call that Giga Ace. You've got a Giga Ace A, and if you've got an S-Class system, you'll also have a Giga Ace B, which will be for redundancy. You only need one to make this system work. We definitely recommend using the highest grade Cat5e or better and double wrapped, double shielded military grade cable if possible.